Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony Lerito Duke. And we have a very interesting topic for today's show, in which it is Maine's Secretary of State barred Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U to the U.S. Constitution. So let's get right into this. Shortly after the Colorado uh, State Supreme Court ruled uh, that Trump was to be taken off uh, that state's um, ballot. Shortly right after that, uh, Maine Secretary of State uh, barred Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot. And uh, under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. And, of course, Trump and his legal team are, are appealing, you know, this decision and uh, and whatever. And um, as I said in my pri uh, prior show, which I will, will, I will say it again, let me first start off with Section 3 of the Civil War Era 14th Amendment says no person shall hold any office, civil or military, under the United States who, having previously taken an oath as an officer of the United States to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. And of course, as I'm sure you all know, that the Colorado State Supreme Court has ruled that Trump has engaged in the insurrection uh, against the United States. So that's, um, that right there proves that uh, according to the 14th, uh, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America, uh, Trump has, in fact, engaged in insurrection, which therefore um, forbids him to, uh, to hold any office, right? And so with that being said, Main Secretary of State, Barr Trump, from the state's presidential primary ballot under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which bars anyone who engaged in insurrection from holding office. Okay? Now, the Secretary of State is responsible for ensuring that candidates meet the qualifications for office as required by the U.S. Constitution and Maine law. Okay. So, every state has their own Secretary of State. Okay. And part of the job of the Secretary of State for each state is they are responsible for ensuring that candidates meet the qualifications for office as required by the U.S. Constitution. So, uh, with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, legally speaking, Maine's Secretary of State had the has the legal right to bar Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot. So, you know, they could, you know, Trump and his team, his legal team can appeal all this, they could take it to whatever court or whatever, but by law, by law, each state secretary of state is responsible for ensuring that candidates meet the qualifications for office as required by the U.S. 
U.S. Constitution, which in turn gives Maine Secretary of State the legal right to bar Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot. Plain and simple, it's black and white, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not a political thing. It's the law. Okay? It's the law. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people upset about this and whatever. Again, they're going to probably say, it's all with the political stunt. It's this and that. No, this is the law. The law is the law. So, and that, and the law has to be upheld, plain and simple. And that's just the bottom line of things, seriously. So, um, and Trump should be barred from the ballot. He engaged in insurrection against the United States. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen, the facts are right there. The facts are the facts and the facts are there. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, I want to remind all my fans out there about the business that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY. The link to there is awldny.com. You guys could check out all the items on there. And I also wanted to remind all my fans out there about my other business, my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. Again, that is AIHNY.com. And you guys could check out all the pages on there. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.